Well, friends, the Senate just passed the omnibus bill. The omnibus bill that we've been talking about with 12 anti-gun measures in it, 12 measures that are going to expand the ATF to well beyond reasonable uh, limits, not, not that more than one would even be reasonable, but expands it with, with millions and millions upon dollars for uh, new personnel. Uh, guess what? Body cameras. They're going to have body cameras now. They need $13 million for that, I believe is what I read, right? Like that's going to change anything. This is one of the worst spending bills I've ever seen. And you know why it's getting rammed through so fast? Don't pick a side for political party because the Democrats and Republicans are all the same. I think 19 Republicans have passed this thing in the Senate, which is going to the House, by the way, for a quick vote, probably by the end of the day today, for sure tomorrow, but probably today because they all, they all want to go home. That's the reason why. They want to go home for the holidays. Now, they could easily do a continuing resolution which what that would do is extend the current budget for for the year 2022 up until next year, where finally when there there is a change in the House, the House is where the spending needs to originate, right? So that's where they can make some changes and get rid of a lot of this garbage out there. But no, the Republicans don't want that kind of responsibility. The Republicans have always run from, from their own responsibility when it came from the Second Amendment. So they're allowing this to be passed so that they don't have to make the tough decisions and support the Second Amendment in 2023 in Congress. That's what we have representing us, guys. Guys, I'm going to tell you something. There are gazillions of dollars in here of misspent money for gender equality. Uh, Ukraine gets $40 million more million, whatever it is. It's whatever Ukraine asks for they get. They're outlawing any kind of structure to be built on the southern border that would keep somebody from coming in free. I don't understand how our Republican leadership, not to mention Democrats who might actually care about this country, can allow this to pass. I don't understand that. Let me explain something to you guys. And I'm going to say this unapologetically. If any of you are offended by this, stop watching my videos. Unsubscribe from my channel. Never, ever come across me again. Let our paths never meet. You will never convince me that anybody outside of America is more important than anyone inside of America. You will never try to guilt me or you will never be successful at guilting me into thinking less for my family's future and America's future than anybody outside the borders. Yes, America first. I could give two rips about anyone in Ukraine as long as my family and my countrymen are suffering. I don't give a rip what anybody thinks about that. If you think more about Ukrainians, Mexicans, Venezuelans, anyone south of the border, not to mention all the Chinese and the terrorists coming in from the southern border, if you value Ukrainians and all these illegal aliens coming in more than your own family's future and more than other Americans, I never want you to stumble across one of my videos again. Because I will always put my family and my countrymen first and members of the Senate and soon to be members of Congress because they're going to pass this. We need to remember this. This is hideous all so that they can go home and spend extra time with their families because they have all the protections they need and they have these lifelong pensions and these lifelong paychecks that set their families up forever. We are the working class. We are the ones who are suffering here. We are the ones who they are pushing down, 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 down and favoring people outside these borders of this very great country. This is pathetic. This is sad. And we are watching this happen right before our eyes. I'm sorry. I thought this was America.